Hello everybody, so I hope you had fun yesterday collecting um, natural resources of different colours and using them to make some ink or paint. Uh, today we're going to look much more closely at leaves because obviously at this time of year in spring all of the trees and plants are growing new leaves again so it's a really good time of year to have a really close up look at leaves. Um, so when I was out uh, this morning walking my dog I just collected some different types of leaves that I found on some of the trees uh, nearby where I live. Um, some of them I think you'll probably recognise. So this one, this is the type of leaf that you see on the Canadian flag and they call it a maple uh, but we would call it a sycamore so there's that one. This one, this one's actually gone a little bit dry since I collected it this morning but lots of you will know that that is an oak leaf. Um, then other trees nearby me, I've got a beech leaf, um, an elder, a silver birch, uh, this is actually a cherry and this is an ash tree. So if you're not able to identify trees from their leaves there are lots and lots and lots of apps available or resources online that will help you to identify which tree it is from its leaves. And one of the things that we can use to identify plants or any living thing is a key. So today we're going to have a really close look at some of these leaves and we're going to make our own key to help us identify them. Now, when we look at leaves, there are some words, some terms that you will need to learn. And we can learn these by looking at the leaves really, really close up. Now, a really good way to look at a leaf close up is to make a little rubbing of it. So I've actually made some rubbings of the leaves that I collected this morning. Here is my oak leaf rubbing and here is my sycamore leaf rubbing. So I've done a little rubbing of all of them and to start off with, I'm just going to show you what I mean and how I did my rubbing. So for this you'll need just a piece of paper and quite a soft pencil if you've got one. You could try doing it in coloured pencil or chalk or crayon, anything that's nice and soft um, that you can use to do your rubbing. And you need a piece of paper. So I'm just going to tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing to do is you need to leave, have your leaf with the veins, the, the rough bits, show it facing up and just put it under your piece of paper. Then with your pencil or your crayon or your chalk, you're just going to very gently rub your pencil across the leaf. And this is where a soft pencil is really good because the softer the pencil, the, the better it comes out. And I'm just going to rub from side to side like this so that I get a pattern of my leaf like so. So that's my leaf rubbing. So I've done a leaf rubbing for all of the leaves that I collected this morning and I've cut them out like this and I'm going to use these and my, my actual leaves to make my key. Now when we make a key to help us identify things we need to come up with a series of questions that have yes or no answers. So if we take our first leaf, so I'm going to take this one which is my ash leaf, um, I need to think of a question that I can answer either yes or no about this leaf. So this is when I said we need to learn some new words to describe leaves. Now, actually an ash leaf is a very special kind of leaf because what I'm holding here is actually the whole leaf and it's made up of these much smaller leaflets. So an ash leaf isn't just one of those things, that's a leaflet. The whole thing is the ash leaf and leaves that are made up of these separate little leaves all joined together are called pinnate. So ash is an example of a pinnate leaf. It's made up of lots and lots of separate leaves. So for my key, my first question is going to be, is the leaf pinnate? So I've got a large piece of paper here and I'm going to write my question at the top. Is the leaf pinnate? So that means, is it made up of different little leaves stuck together? And then from that question, there are two possible answers. So I've got either yes or 
no so this is what my key looks like so far so i've written my question at the top is the leaf pinnate yes no now i know that of the leaves that i collected the ash is the only one of those leaves that is pinnate it's the only one that's made up of separate leaves so i'm going to find my leaf rubbing of my ash leaf which actually didn't really come out that well to be honest but that doesn't matter i'm going to stick that onto my key like this and i'm going to right underneath that that is my ash so this tree here is ash so this is what it looks like so far. I said, is the leaf pinnate? Is it made up of those separate leaves? Yes, no. So yes, in my leaves, that is the ash leaf. So all my other leaves are not pinnate. They're not made up of separate bits of leaf. So then I need to think of a question that will separate all of those. So if I look for example at my sycamore leaf we can learn another word here. My sycamore leaf is made up of, it's not pinnate, it's not made up of tiny leaves but it has got these bulges or lobes. If I compare that to my cherry leaf for example, here's my cherry leaf, my cherry leaf is just one smooth shape Whereas my sycamore leaf has made up of these different lobes, these different bulges. So my next question on my key could be, is the leaf lobed? So I'm going to write that down. Is the leaf lobed? And again, I'm going to have some that are, so my answer will be yes and some that are not so the answer will be no so this is what my key looks like now this is my next question is the leaf lobed yes or no and of my leaves i've got two that are lobed i've got my sycamore and my oak leaf so for those ones i need to think of a question that i can use to tell these apart now, what you might notice of the sycamore leaf, sycamores have a very, very long stem. So the stem is the bit of the leaf that attaches it to the twig. So my sycamore leaf has got a very long stem. It's longer than about, about four or five centimetres, whereas my oak leaf hardly has any stem at all. The stem is really, really short. So my next question, could be for the ones I've said is the leaf lobed yes so if it is lobed is the leaf stem longer than four centimeters and again that's going to be a yes or no question so if the answer is yes then I know that that is my sycamore so I'm going to find my leaf rubbing for my sycamore and I'm going to stick that on there so that I know that that's my sycamore. It's got to be sycamore. If the answer is yes, so I'm going to stick that down and I'm going to label that one sycamore. And if the answer is no, then I know that that has to be my oak leaf. So I'm going to find my rubbing of my oak leaf and I'm going to stick that down there. And I'm going to label that one oak. So this is what my this is what my uh, key looks like so far. So I've got is the leaf pinnate? Yes, it must be ash. No. Then I have another question: is the leaf lobed? Yes. Then I have to look at the next question. Is the leaf stem longer than four centimetres? Yes, then it must be sycamore. No, then it must be oak. That leaves me with all of the ones that are not pinnate, they're not lobed. So I need to come up with another question. 
So if I show you, for example, this one, this is my elder leaf. Can you see that around the edges of the leaf, it's really, really jagged. It's like little teeth marks all the way around the edge of the leaf. That is called serrated. If I compare that to the cherry, the cherry is really smooth. So that could be my next question. Are the edges of the leaf serrated? So for my no here, the ones that weren't lobed, I'm going to draw an arrow down to my next question. So here's my next question, which is, is the leaf edge serrated? Which means, does it have that jagged edge? And again, I've got some that are yes and some that are no. In fact, the no, the only one of mine that isn't serrated is the cherry. So I'm going to find my rubbing of the cherry leaf and I'm going to stick that down there and label that cherry because I know that that must be that one. So that's that. And then I'm going to pick my last two. I'm going to have the silver birch and the uh, beech. There we go. So that's these. Uh, so I need some sort of question to be able to tell those apart. So sometimes we can look at the leaf veins. If I show you this uh, beech leaf, it's got one main vein that goes all the way up the center and then it's got these side veins that come off sometimes the side veins are in pairs so for example in this leaf which is a silver birch it's a little bit difficult to see but the side veins come off in pairs whereas on the beech tree leaf they don't they're sort of alternating all the way up the leaf you can see where they join on there they're not together in pairs they're alternating so that's going to be my final question are the side veins are the side veins in pairs and I've got a yes and a no don't know if I will be able to fit my pictures on let's have a look I've got my silver birch. Oh, might need to hang off the bottom of my key, that one. I'll put that one there. That's my silver birch. I'll just label that. And that was the one that did have the side veins in pairs. Actually, you can see it really beautifully on my rubbing where the side veins go off. They're all together in pairs all the way up. Whereas my beech leaf, I have to hang that off the side over here as well. Those are the ones that are not in pairs. They sort of alternate as they go up the leaf. I'm going to put that one there. And there we go. There is my finished key. So anybody could come and use this. If they collected one of these leaves and they didn't know what it was, they could use this key to help them identify it by working down from the top and ask, answering the question yes or no each time, following it down to identify their leaves. So there's an idea of something you could do. You could collect some leaves while you're out for a walk or from the plants in your garden. Find out what they are, use an app or look up online what those leaves are and then see if you can devise your own key that you could give to somebody else in your family to see if they can identify them.